Hello guys, what's going on today? So guys, so I have a video over here to show you guys how to set up Android using Max Player into Launchbox. Uh, it's super, super simple. <clears throat> you know, I tried to do it with LD Player, but I couldn't do it with LD Player. I don't know why LD Player doesn't work with this. I know, I know uh, Bluestack works with it because Bluestack lets you uh, create shortcuts for your, you know, applications that you have on your Android device, on your, you know, on your application. But anyhow, <clears throat> this is uh, the easiest way to do it. So, if you go over to your Nox player, and I have, uh, right now I only, I reinstalled the whole program, I did a huge update which you know I like and uh, now when you hold an app you can actually export it that's pretty cool but the way you do this is you open up a game on your next player you have to you just have to launch the game once the game is launched all you have to do is click right here where the three dots are and you're gonna click create an app to desktop that's it that's what you need to do after that just close your app you can even close next player but right here you're gonna get you know a shortcut of the app what you have to do is you can put this wherever you want you just have to let you know a launch box know where it is but you can actually put it wherever you want but I prefer to put it you know on my launch box folder so if I go to, you know, where I have my launch box, I go to games, I go to Android, and there I have my two applications that I just installed, Clash Royale and Gear Pop By, the, the Gear Award uh, Pop game. And you just drop it in there. That's it, you delete this. Super simple, like I said. After that, you come to your launch box. <clears throat> you can uh, actually, you know, throw the app in there throw the shortcut in there and then rename it or whatever that works super good too but like I already have it let's say I go to Crash Royale <clears throat> you know I just bra browse for the application path right here Clash, uh, Clash Royale I do that you don't have to use an emulator for this so that is blank all you have to do is that and put the name so you can get you know your logos and stuff uh, that's that's about it. It's gonna ask you, you know, every time you press OK, it's gonna ask you if you want to use an emulator. You want to say no to that, of course. And uh, that's it, guys. After that, you click play on it, and it should automatically play the game. Are you guys see right here? And it launch you right to the game, and that's you know the easiest way to do it, guys. I'm gonna show you guys one more time. I'm gonna do it with Gears of War now. So if I go to Gears, when the game opens, the handbar menu, create an app to desktop, close my app, my application's right here. So I come to my uh, folder my where I have my games you know my Android games folder or wherever you guys want to put it you just drop that in there you go to your launch box and you tell launch box where the application is so you just you know you just uh, drag and drop your shortcut here and you know you can set up you know the way or whatever you guys know how to do this <laughs> But anyways, I choose where my, you know, where my application is, my shortcut. And now when I click on it, I hit play. And you should right away launch my Gears of War. And that's the easiest way to do it, guys. 
uh, thank you for watching these videos and I hope this help a lot of people that want to include Android in their uh, lunchbox uh, I'm telling you guys lunchbox it's the greatest thing man the greatest thing you can actually emulate anything from here you know and have it looking beautifully like I have it it's, it's really really amazing guys so if you guys haven't purchased a license for lunchbox yet I encourage you to do it because I'm telling you these people deserve anything coming to them man they deserve everything they they done amazing amazing with that all right guys you guys have a great day and have a